It's Catch 22 Radio on GMTRadio.com. We are back. It's your girl Tay in the building. We got Catch Drewski in the building. What's Brian happening? Dope Boy what's Davis. Happening? What's happening? Well, you looking me in the eye right now. Because I'm drunk. I like that. <laughs> uh, we got China Red in the building. Oh, whatever. We got Catch Ray. He's standing up with the Don't Hate shirt. Hey. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Mix, but y'all be happy because we got a special guest in the building. Yeah. We got Chucky Trill in the building. Chuck what's Trill. happening? Yeah. yeah. Now, you should have asked everybody that came last time, last week, uh, about the chains. Yes. I like chains. You do? Uh-huh. I take chains. <laughs> I don't think you're going to play with Chucky like that. I, I, I'm going to tell you why. You know, that's a real screamer. Yes. You're from the street. Chucky. I don't want no smoke. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Size you up. Uh, what? In chains? Yeah, I'm trying to give it to you. See, I don't want I, no smoke. Why? I went joke off your outfit. Don't want it all. I just don't want no smoke. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's poppin', Jackie? I'm chilling now. I'm chilling. Big chilling. What's in your drink? What's in your cup? It's clean today. Okay. I'm clean today. Okay. Y'all gonna have some something in my cup. Okay. Y'all gonna have some something in my cup. All right, so what you got going on, Chucky, man? What's new? Yeah. Good kiss. All right, man, I've been seeing you pushing the city for a while now, man. And you got your big break on the Kiki album. How did that end up coming about? We can go ahead and start there. Uh, Kiki, uh, Kiki and my pops uh, been messing around. And, uh, I was working with someone. And uh, at the time, they reached out to Kiki. And they were like, hey, man, I think you need to be able to tell the truth. And Kiki was like, I already know who he is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and it was like, uh, we can submit a song to like it, you can have it. If not, you know, he don't really do it. But it wasn't no song, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he just came to the studio to speak with me. Oh, it I can't be no cool loud. today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Drew, I think he got you beat on the bare white, man. Don't, don't play. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. Now, look, uh, yeah, so I was working with somebody, and uh, they reached out to Kiki, and they asked him, uh, you know, uh, if you could be a, if, if I could be a part of the app, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we want to submit a song to you. If you like it, you can have it. If not, he gonna run with it. Uh, Kiki came to the studio. It wasn't no song. We created the song from okay. from the top. You know what I'm saying? Like he had that much faith. I ain't gonna lie. He walked in the studio as soon as he seen me, greeted me. I like even know him for years. But you know that's through the relationship with my daddy. And uh, shit, he said, "Do you? I want that young nigga shit." Yeah. Like, shit, you know, at the time I wasn't feeling young nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was going through something, I had a whole bunch of pain on my heart, so you know, I just feel it like it does. That's real. Yeah. So with, with being on Kiki's album, you know, um, how do you transition with that with that buzz? That's that's because you was in 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 the building, you know, what I mean, for Slim Thug's 20th anniversary. So how do you build off that buzz now that you have the strict the the city of Houston is? That buzz right there, I mean, it was really already building. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been with Boss Life Management for almost six, seven months. Uh, okay. Yeah, I've been on the uh, Boss Life for like six, seven months. Uh, but with the Kiki thing, man, I was at Eight Lounge, I think, last week with D Bando and my boy D Black. Yeah, we was uh, in that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, good. I'm tripping. There you go, see what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, somebody rolled by, man, and they were jamming the song. And it, it was almost an issue because the, the, the dude ain't wanna, he like stopped and reached, and I reached there. He's like, I'm like, nah, nigga, that's me. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Chill, you know what I'm saying? He like, shoot. His wife, he was kind of drunk, but once I showed the nigga my Instagram, he let me record a video of him. So like, that's dope. You know, just hear somebody ride by and, you know. Yeah, shoot. you can't reach too quick out here in these streets, man. That's <laughs> what I want to jail for. Yeah, um. Mm. Somebody reach too fast. Yeah, oh. man, speaking about jail, bro, you you an advocate already having it out there that you did the street life, man. You did eight years, right? Yeah, eight years. Blacks. So I was straight through. That's my brother, man. <laughs> so, so how was it after, I guess, the transition from doing eight years flat and then coming home? It really wasn't no difference, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't trying to catch up to nothing. 
I just told myself for eight years what I was gonna do with myself. You know what I'm saying? So I perfected my craft. I used to have a, a whole day room rocking life. I made people forget they had life sentences. Like, mm -hmm. we used to be down there just the sergeants, the lieutenants, the female officers, everybody used to come through just to hear. My partner used to beat on the table. I used to just stand in the day room and rap all day. So I, I coming home, it was just like, you know, I know I got responsibility because I damn sure I ain't trying to go back to mama or daddy. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to catch up to the nothing because half of the niggas that was doing the shit that they were doing in their 20s that I was doing in my teens, they they did on it too. Yeah. I paid my dues already. That's how I feel. So, so what's up with you? So what do you think about the video today? Like, what's your take on it? Like, how do you feel about it? Like, how do you uh, what, what you talking about? The movement of everybody coming together and making. Oh, work. that's that's the new Houston, man. It? I mean, we call it the new Houston. Uh, you like, you'll see a lot of uh, hashtags where people say you strong, the new Houston. That's you know, I don't know nothing about the older generation, so I can't speak on them. But to see everybody in my generation, you know, messing with each other, that's love. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's different because we see other cities doing it. Right. right. That's how they win. You know right. what I'm saying? And I live in Atlanta, so you can't really go out there and ask about little baby without seeing Gunner, uh, yeah, one true. of the hottest, yeah. you know, dudes, right. vice versa in Dallas. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can't, you won't see Yellow BZ without Trap Boy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That, it, it, yeah, yeah. About yeah. time that this happened, man. Right. Speaking of that, you had a mixtape call from Atlanta to Houston? Houston to Atlanta. Houston to Atlanta. Are you from Atlanta? No, I'm from Houston, Texas. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. so where did the Atlanta connection come in at? That's where I moved to when I came home. See, I'm, I'm giving y'all me. Yeah. I don't know how to give you nothing else but me. So, Houston to Atlanta, you look at the cover. It's me standing over the skyline of Toyota Center. Uh, me holding up a little pistol to my head. Right? Yeah. We got the plane going to Atlanta. I was in the street life in Houston. Like, that's what they've been doing eight years in the penitentiary from 19 to 27. You know what I'm saying? So, when I came home, I came home with a dollar in the dream. My family was already connected, you know, in the streets. And my dad is being trying to go to cartel. So, if anybody knows his history, they know why he sat down for 17 in the feds. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it all makes sense through my story. You know, I'm just holding the cartel that you said about this. So what made you move to Atlanta? It's just something I wanted to do when I was in, in jail. I, I mean, reading magazine, XXS, all that type of stuff. And then I'm from Houston, man. I, I know, you know what I'm saying? Like, say it, man. A, say, say it. Yeah, man, that's a, that's a, that's a that's market right here, boy. It's, it's hard. It's a whole ass market. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, you gotta, you gotta beat the odds and remain humble. Yeah. I feel like the reason I, I I don't know how to speak for nobody else, you know what I'm saying? It's like I don't know, it's political. Right. right. That's and I don't, I don't name drop, I don't do none of that because I like to stay in the neutral because I'm one of them dudes like don't bother me, you know what I'm saying? Because you bother me. I'm in my own land. And if you force me to get out of my land, then I gotta get in your land then. I gotta put a suit, focus on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, in yeah. what ways from your newest music has changed to your latest music? Ooh. From when you first started? Yeah, that's growth. I had a lot, a lot of growth. Nice. Uh, I found myself. I used to, I used to be scared to harmonize in front of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I used to be, I don't know, like, I, Bro, man, <laughs> I, can, I, I, I can only write about like the stuff that I'm going through. Bro. Right. Uh, that's why you're gonna hear like Lamborghini and all that type of stuff because I don't feel it. You know what I'm right. saying? Like my, my EP that's about to come out is called Music for the Soul. So it's like everything that I'm going through, I put it all in one. It's like instead of me talking to somebody because I'm so used to being alone. Mm -hmm. I've been on my papers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really, even my little brother right there, there's certain things he, he don't know about, like that I be going through. Uh, right. It's just, I, I, I keep it to myself and just been on paper. So right. being alone, how you gonna deal with all this fame and people walking up on you and wanting pictures I, and I'm all that? I'm very approachable. I'm a humble, I'm That's humble. true. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you approachable once they see you, yeah. but like the, the eye test, you, you don't look approachable. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look approachable. <laughs> 
Like if I just see like you in the corner, I'm like, nah. nah. Like, but China brought you over and it was like, he was like, oh, what's up? I was no, like, no, all right, you no, good. I'm cool with that, man. I was gonna say, no, 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 look. I'm not saying in his heart he's not. I'm just saying when you look, Bro. it's like. He look like he about that business. No, I'm good. good. I was late to the stage, but I missed the introduction. So he was already back in the cut when I tried to walk over and talk to Bad Dog. Bro, Trill looked at me like, nigga, what's up? I was like, nah. <laughs> I, I really, I, it just looked. I, I mean, you know. That's a good thing, though. Yeah, yeah. I can put it to words. Yeah, I mean, it ain't, it ain't nothing that I'm trying to this week. You know? yeah. like, I don't know. So, where did the name Chucky Trill come from, man? Man, that's the crazy, man. My name really Dope Boy. But Mine I changed, too. I <laughs> it's like three of y'all in the city. I changed my name because of Del Beasley. I told Del Beasley this when I first met him, bro. I said, man, when I seen him in the XXL, I changed my name. Like, I know where I was going. I know where I'm going in life. But right. I, I knew I was going to bump into everybody that I bumped into. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Del Beasley, we actually laughed about that. I got a big right here with Nick. Sure, Lou. Sure, Lou. But yeah, it was a dollar bill, everything. D.O.E. Uh, Chucky, Chucky came from the penitentiary. I was, uh, that was my code name for the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever I used to get packs in. Uh, Not no more. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mentioned you. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. 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 And my music is not just, you know, all sad and droopy neither, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, it's very Don't do that. It's no, very twerky. It's, it's, it's another Houston it's, artist it's that, that's all they do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's life. It's yeah. sad listening to his music. Like, oh my God, bro. You but you know, I like listening to his music because it makes me feel better about my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, it could yeah, be worse. What's your favorite song that you done put out so far that you love the most? I love Best Friend. Best Friend. That's my heart. Oh, uh, but. I got a new song about to come out called Basic. Basic. Uh, yeah, I got another song called Streets Don't Love the Soul featuring Young Al. Um, okay. That's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's gonna be very, very two pockets. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can talk about yeah. it. I can, I can see that. Uh, it was a lot of things that happened in that song that. Man. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Streets Don't Love Nobody. You know what I'm saying? No matter. How good you go, how far you get in the game, like either your time gonna come or somebody's gonna try to take it from you. Like, right. Soon gonna love nobody. Okay. Like, you gotta know what you're getting into. Man. So a lot of people that, you know, have come home, you know, me from their vacation. You're not gonna go you know, to college. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> say that it's hard to transition into the rap game because there's so many weirdos. Is there anybody well, have you met a couple of people? that you felt like you thought was cool before you met them and it's like Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to let you start. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's <laughs> a lot of weirdo. Yeah. yeah. So I know you don't work with a lot of artists in Houston. What do you work with? Not. What do you work with? Well, I was, I was everybody makes mistakes. Who are you interested in working with now? I don't name drop because I don't want nobody to feel like I forgot them. There's a lot of, I hang with a lot of people that I haven't even worked with. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, is anybody you think you'll have? Yeah. Anybody like that? I future, don't track with. That you want to work with later on in the future? Uh, track? Bando. Uh, Bando. Uh, oh. me, me and Bando actually talked about doing a whole mix together. I never been to go. Live. Is there anybody, like, I guess, on a bigger scale? The reason we asked this, we just pulled the clip, you know what I mean, of uh, Don Toppin yeah. from last year saying he wanted to work with Travis, and he just made Travis out. Last night. Last night. Yeah. And, yeah. and he got signed. Yeah. And so, you know what I mean? You know, it's kind of like you said on Catch-22, and it kind of happened. You know what I mean? So, you know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to get on the track with Gates. Okay. I think I that is coming. That's going to happen. I, I, I come yeah. I want to get on the track with Gates. I like Drake. Yo, yeah. I like Drake. Um, I like my bag, yo. NBA, yo, boy. I mean, damn, man. You'll be loud on the track. You'll be loud on the track. Like, you do, like, I yeah. Yeah. Like, I can feel it. All that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen on the first album. That's all the man, that's all the ride that I fuck with, too. Uh, he from Atlanta, man. 
That's dope. I know a um a group that you should probably call. Oh, <laughs> <There it is. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was a great <laughs> Like you got a project coming out, I'm sure you're still working on the EP. Uh, we, you know, they're available all day. Uh, Chuggy, are hey, you listening? Okay. Uh, <laughs> we got. A, uh, I know you got the EP coming up. So um, there's a group, amazing group, right? Um, the name is Thick and Nasty, right? Uh, here you go. The name of the group is Thick and Nasty, or whatever. Uh, or it's China Ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're real dope. Um, they're actually sitting right in front of you. Uh, we're thinking nasty right here. Okay. So we do a lot. Okay. Wait till this visual drop. That place we is do a lot. Okay, Chucky. Don't judge us off of appearance. Okay. <laughs> Just because we sexy don't mean we can't rap. Thick and nasty. Thick and nasty. Did you explain who thick and nasty is? All right. So since you are, hey, you say you rap from your soul. So yeah. we rap from my soul too. Seriously. But we background rappers. Now yeah. I'm not your hype man. So no. I'm not going to know none of your lyrics. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rap my own verse <laughs> while you rapping your verse uh -huh. and it's gonna mesh together you know what i mean kind of like kind of like poetry you know yeah. what i mean like it's gonna it's gonna go and yeah. i feel like it would be innovative if chucky trill had thick and nasty as his background rapper background rap. give, give me give me give me a sample uh oh a sample. oh here we go oh, here we go first one let's go i got you something you ready yeah i don't rap for free oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. 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 Okay, you gotta understand. I'm, All right. I don't pay for nothing. We don't, we don't, we don't, we not asking you that. No. We won't give it to these people. Oh, that's what the common people. That's what These are the common people. Yeah, she got a piece of a camera. These are these are common. He got the camera. I'm sure that video was going somewhere special. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, they just sitting here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. They, they just sitting there. Okay. Big and nasty. Don't, Don't rap for free. for free. Okay. So here's what it is. We'll have a session and you will get to see it. I think this will be a little joke. <laughs> We have a whole video of us in the studio. I don't understand what y'all talking about. I mean, I mean, I need to see this video. Oh, I'm going to. I need to see the video. I ain't seen the video. Oh, you are chunky. Kids 22. I hear something. No, 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 no. Big and nasty. Yeah, but it's a kid's 22. Yeah, it is a kid's 22. That's true. That's true. Real quick, real quick. Speaking about Kevin Gates, man, one thing I know about Kevin Gates is he really put drink out there. You actually promote your woman too. Yeah. I see her over your page a lot, man. What made you actually want to do that and give her that shine also? Life. You know? I ain't got nothing to hide. You know, I ain't got nothing to hide. Everybody got a past. Everybody got, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So her people saying her, my people saying her, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I ain't got nothing to hide. That's real. That's real. Because a lot of artists don't usually do that, especially when they have a woman or whatever. They make sure they just keep that on the back end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how has how does she adapt with you having to be in these places without her? I mean, she's like my biggest fan. You know what I'm saying? So she she supported. Uh, okay. She don't really. I don't get the bag. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't get the bag. That's what's important. Yeah. So we're about to play some music from you. What song are we about to hear right now? What song are we No love. No love. Yeah, no love. No. We're about to listen to No Love. Pool, is you ready, bro? No? Okay. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it? Um. Anyway, make it thick nasty. Um, <laughs> no, I actually have a waiting. question for you. Okay, so right. I know you don't have any kids. Are you looking forward to kids in the future, Chucky? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Boy, girl. I ain't ready for her, girl. You want to You don't think so? What was, it, what was his name? Be? You know what I did? Chucky Jr. Chucky Jr. No. <laughs> nah, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know. I, I really ain't not that far. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not, I don't like to use the term, I want to wait till my bag get right or not. Yeah. But, like, I know to raise a child, it takes responsibility. Got a whole lot right. of money. Yeah, a lot of money. Right now, I'm, I don't even play no damn home in the next year. You know what no, yeah. like, We always talking about the road, the road, the road. Yeah. Right. Any tours coming up? Uh, as far as shows, you know, I mean, we're gonna put together 
I was just talking to my manager uh, yesterday. Uh, Kids from Boss Life. Uh, yeah. We're just trying to fit together. We're going to try to do like a Texas one, uh, Arkansas, New Mexico, shit like that. But it just got to put the EP out. Right, 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 right. Once we get the EP, you know what I mean? We get a distributor because we're going to put distribution to somebody. I have my own label. Right. So it's like, that's the major part. The minor part. That's the road that's going to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to get. Let's see what's going on. Drop it. I just want to see what's going to happen. Drop it. Okay, okay Chuck. They say in order to beat the best, you gotta be the best. Here we go. Look. Ape shit, ape shit, the 40 k hit like a bass kick If I ain't got it, I'ma get it, best believe Chuck the Triller Take shit, yeah, Chuck it don't take shit Pull up with sticks and erase shit The boy got a minute top, but we can get it poppin' now Pull up with facelift, Yo. yeah, give you a facelift I'm going act like King Kong, so to say shit like the King song She even got it as a ringtone, a boyfriend even sing along I can tell her bring a friend along, get my nut and then the nigga gone How this nigga in the city on, miss a nigga with the rap shit We ain't really with the rap shit, me and mine's will come and clap shit Better get a nigga clap yeah. We ain't chasing no type of clout. Get these niggas no type of doubt. Get my money stacked by the hundred. Promise they can never count me out. <laughs> yeah! You gotta give it a round of applause. Yeah! Chuck it! Thank you, Chuck it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate you, bro, so much for stopping by and kicking it with us. He been gone fishing with us. Yeah. He freestyled with us. He said thick and nasty go get on the song. Remember? I don't remember. I, 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 I heard that. It's probably on the table. Just listen back. Yeah. 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 I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find it. Yeah, I tell you. I got you. <laughs> but again, thank you so much for kicking it with us. Now, we're going to go straight into okay. our other topic. So we're going to do the V Mania. We're going to do. Say she say. I want to do it. I think he say she say the best. He say she say always okay. take off. Yeah, but it can, it, can, it can intertwine with both. It can intertwine it. because aren't we talking about the post yeah. that Brian shared? Uh -huh. Both of them right? I shared. <clears throat> Yeah, go ahead. Let's or not. Okay, because I, I I read something. I don't know if I read wrong. Okay, but on. I know we were talking about do you have to pay if you lay in it down? No. It said no, no, that's not what it said. It said is a man obligated to give a woman money if he is having sex with her. The same thing. If he yeah. offer it. Are you the other you, pay, you the, the pay. I'm saying the man works obligated. That's why I wanted to make sure I do that. No, you're not obligated. I don't No. 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 I'm not agreeing with you to give you my money. Cause no. Cause Look, when we meet when we meet sexually, when we meet sexually, it is a mutual agreement that you giving me something and I'm giving you something. Right. But see the, the post, the women on the post were basically saying that if you were the man and he and he giving that to you, then he then yes, he should be giving you money. What? Why? You giving me bro, something? I was so mad when I read that post. That's prostitution. Come on, man. That's, I mean the young boy said it, bro. I asked my grandma, you know what I'm saying? Like when something like this come on the internet, I'll be like, maybe. Maybe I'm tripping, you know what I'm saying? Maybe my worldly views is a little skewed. So I say, hey, grandma, if I if I had sex with a woman and she asked me for some money, am I tripping? She said, that's prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there ain't no way to get around it, bro. From the 10s, 20s, well, look, from 19, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 90, 2000, 2010s, 2000, going on, it's going to still be prostitution. Yeah, the words have to change. It's not prostitution, it's just levels to everything. Okay, no. okay hold on. You got, you got no. Go ahead. It's like, I, I was about to say, favor, but then it's cool for a favor here and there, but then at the same time, it's, it's, 
It's tricky. Thank you. Six. Yeah. 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 Hit me when you don't. And when we're not having sex, to ask me for some money if you need some. But that's what I said. I said that yeah. I was telling the girls. I was like, basically, bro, yeah. I do that with my my partners. But anybody sex. I fool with. Yeah, after sex. You yeah. If, I, if, I, if you need me, I got you. I don't care what it is. If I fool with you like that, but that don't have nothing to do with sex. So why are y'all putting the sex in it? Because I mm. I'm trying to figure out why when did vagina become more valuable than penis? Just yeah. flip it around. Is yeah. it is it obligated for a woman to give man yep. some money if right. they're having sex? Some shit Just like but every time yeah. a female, and that's gonna be the same. Okay, go, but go every time a female have a guy friend, the first thing he say is, "Girl, get your money." That's sure, all, y'all. Sure, don't say sure. that because when y'all become friends with us, the first thing y'all tell us is, "If, if it was if it was me, I get mine." What that? What that? They ain't got that. So don't make it seem like we're so 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 no 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 no. Don't go so like get your money. When I'm telling you to get your money, I'm not telling you go 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 have sex with this man and then take his money. When I'm telling you, maybe you focus. Wait, I wake up and he having on the couch. Look, look, because you already trying to hang on that person too. Wait, wait, wait. I wake up and he is gone and it's on the couch. I look, money on the counter is for me. Hey, hey, if he left money on the counter, if he put the money on the counter before y'all did what you did, when you left, he said take. Like that. Nah, then, then that's, that's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if a rich woman that's your money, sugar baby or something. Yeah. He know yeah. he's coming off a check. Yeah. In the type of way. Anytime you exchange sex. Woman, if I get up off a rich white woman and some money, I'm a dresser. I just prostitute my body. You just prostitute. You sold your body. I sold it. Hold on. Hey, and y'all upset. Wait, wait, wait. You said the gigolo. Gigolo is a male prostitute. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I say it's levels. No, it's still prostitution. So look, that goes into the other thing we're talking about because I, we seen a post yeah. and I and I mean mania yeah. that the lady hit this dude up that she was messing with for twenty dollars for her kids for his field trip. Uh -huh. He said, "Go ask your other two baby daddies for twenty dollars." Oh, I hit them up. They didn't have it. You know, I thought that you would give it to me. But no. I, and then so that women like oh like he trifling or he no. he an f boy He's and I'm like like they got daddies they probably saying that because of the amount twenty dollars no look look hey, y'all first of all we don't know how tough we was rocking like uh -huh. I could have just been a hey big head text yeah. and then you asked me for twenty dollars or you probably been begging for weeks and weeks and, and I'm, I'm just, just tired, tired. No, you I'm tired of your begging ass. Right, but at the end of the day, like, why do you have two baby daddies and neither one of them get, like, if so, if they, they got, got 20 to 10? Yeah, look, look. Or y'all could have all could have six, 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 and then found, found another dollar or something. Like. Hard on my <laughs> I'm just saying, bro, like, I, me as a father, you know what I mean? I don't want another man to take care of my kids' kids. So even if I got to go figure it out, I'm going to figure it out, but I'm not going to tell you, like, hey, nah, I ain't got it, and then I know you mess with somebody else because my kids go on that field trip and I ain't give it to you. We're going to have a whole nother issue. Yo, that, hey, look, see, that's the thing is a lot of people don't understand. If you don't have kids, I don't want another man raising my daughter. Like, period. So at the end of the day, that's my responsibility. Yeah. So if you need $20 for my child, come get that $20 from me. Okay. If you get it from somebody else, I'm going to be pissed about that, too. Okay. Yeah, don't, but don't wake up morning up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't wake up morning up. And, and, so and all it's, I can say is, get on your shit. Get you a job. Save your money. Take care of your kids. And stay down. But she was pissed that he didn't want to give her the twenty dollars. She, she wasn't talking to him no more. Yeah, she told Thank him like, don't, don't don't hit my phone no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if you with me, you should be there for my kids too, and blah blah blah. Hey, but no, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell y'all what, what the key point she missed That's in the whole text message. She said, I wouldn't mind if you were my wife. Yep. So he never said that I didn't have you and the kids, but you want to. Uh, I'm probably just somebody that you smash and all we dating. Exactly. I, I'm not obligated to do anything for your kids. Exactly. When I when I take on that role as your husband, and what is dating? Then I'm huh? right. What is dating? I, I don't know. Like I feel it's like cold. you're single until you're married. So. You know what I mean? Yeah, you already know this. Don't I'm just trying to get a dictionary. The word code is in the dictionary, but that's code. When you dating, you just getting to know somebody. Y'all go do something. Yeah, something I, I, I know this one, but I'm like, what is dating? I don't date them. It's, it's, a, it's a very, like, great area. They it's got nothing to do with them damn kids. Some people, yo, they're, they're dating. They're multiple people. They're, like, in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? That's like, well, if, if they in a relationship, are they, are they? Yeah. I've been cussing all day. Why no, you good, bro. Come on, man. If they fuck <laughs> Don't pump, baby. Go ahead. Is that considered 
relationship? No. Yeah, so that's it, what I'm saying. Like, so like, I think I think to a relationship. I think well, I feel like you're single to your man. So when you're talking about dating, it's just somebody that you're giving more time besides outside of the bedroom. Exactly. Like you got some relationships where that's all y'all doing. They I text you, you text me, that's what we so go if to. You're somebody mistress and you need something. You don't think they should come for you? Yeah, but no, so you that's prostitution. I'm trying to tell you, if you my mistress and I'm just smashing you. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna give you money to shut the hell up because I don't want the man but to you find out. Still you but you still, you still, that's, that's, that's real. I ain't no, I ain't no such thing as no mistress. That's a the fuck. The mistress gonna assume that they want you for her nah, and want I'm family. You ain't never. And what if she don't want your money? She don't want your money. What if she just wanna be? Oh, she's the same thing. If she don't want your money and she just wanna be. We just smashing, bro. But at the end of the day, you call me for some money. That's cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you call me for some money, we smash. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you call me for some money, we smash. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you call me for some money, we smash. Money, that's even better. <laughs> but that's, that's normally not like what I what I've been noticing here lately. Based on all the social media stuff, that is not how women are translating it. Nope. They're saying that if I give you this, you should give me money, and I shouldn't always have no, to dig in my pocket man, to, to be. Yeah, like, that, that, like yeah, all the good men, no, yeah, all the good men are with somebody. somebody. They just transfer that bags of uh, premiums. Yeah, yeah, no. that's yeah. but that's still prostitution. That is the way. But look, look right you, but you are right. Like, but I'm not I mean, not not so what is it called? It's not prostitution. Yeah, that's exactly what it's called. Nah, no, well, they just showing the money, bro. Yeah, yeah, but you paying for it. Yeah, but it's shiny. Cause the porn star not prostitute. Yeah, but it's shiny. Shiny is not even exchange. No, no. Why would I? Why would I pay? Porn is 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 just a high paid prostitution. prostitution like They're that. literally getting paid to have sex. Yeah, it's just a this it's just a legal prostitution. <laughs> I'm just saying, it ain't no other way around it, my nigga. If there's money involved and sex involved, it's prostitution. It's prostitution. Because I just feel like it's another word for all these prostitutes. You're selling your booty, okay? That's basically what you're doing. And I feel sorry for you, hoes, that feel like you should get paid for your booty, and you still ain't like, getting paid for your booty. Women. It's Catch 22 Radio every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. on GMTRadio.com.